All right, guys. Been working uh, pretty steady on the FDR X7. Got a lot of stuff done. Uh, what I'm most excited about is the pop-ups. Actually found all the pieces of those things, which I can't believe it. But they were pretty pretty banged up from uh, you know all these parts come off that crashed car. So um, they were twisted up pretty bad. Kind of just the little brackets, the metal brackets. I kind of hammered those straight the best I could, and uh, really just kind of pieced them back together. I mean, but they're working so I'm gonna show you what I've got done so far and the game plan and what we're gonna go from here and all that good stuff and so you got the got the pop-ups there they were just loosely sitting on here just so I could wire them but they're 100% on um, I just got the fenders kind of laying laying over the car right now I'm gonna line them up here in a second but it's actually coming together and you have to wait for uh, all the stuff with the virus and stuff to calm down so I can go uh, I've actually already paid for the window it's at Mozmart I just got to go have someone cut it out or either cut it out myself and I got to get the uh, the gas door release it's broke on both the FDs so probably end up picking up two of those got the tail lights on it's a mess right now everything's dirty because of the pollen Hadn't put the uh, the weather stripping and all that stuff on yet. Like I said, this car is going to have to come back apart again. Wiring's still a, a nightmare. Like I said, i got to figure out what kind of fuse box I want to use and actually put that under the dash and make this neat. I'm probably going to make it a little bit neater, but I'm still going to leave it unwrapped because I'm not sure if, what stuff I want to add or... You know, because I don't even know if I'm going to have, like, power windows. I don't know if I'm going to put those on or what. Or put those back in. Let's see what else we got going on. I've already got the engine harness all done and wrapped. I kind of went through and deep pinned everything. It's not, like, it's not the prettiest, but I just want it to be easy to work on. I don't really care. And I, uh, I relocated the, uh, the map sensor on the LS1. It's, like, in the back. Um, this is, like, the EGR... Um, delete plate I just drilled a hole in it and you know I'll probably like drill some holes right here and there and tap it so I can put like a little brace over it to keep it from coming out which I don't think is going to go anywhere anyway but still but as far as the engine that's pretty much it still got to mess with the radiator and figure out how I'm going to do that got some got to get some headers do some exhaust stuff and the problem with the brakes, I found out it's the brake master cylinder is bad. So I'll probably pick up the one for the uh, the 929. I think it's supposed to be like kind of upgrade or something. So that should fix the brakes. <clears throat> yep. It's actually looking like a car. And that, I'm like so happy. I'm going to play around with the fenders and try to get those lined up and everything. And uh, pretty much do that and work on some wiring. Got a few things to do, <laughs> but it's coming along pretty good. Uh, like I said, with the wiring, I'm unsure of exactly what I want the car to have and not to have and stuff like that. So I'm not really ready to finalize it. We're getting pretty close. Like I said, I definitely wanted it to have, you know, headlights, taillights, turn signals, a horn, all that stuff to kind of keep the street legal. I would like for it to have windows, but FD parts are very, very expensive. And I have the window motors somewhere and the window switches and the door harnesses and all that stuff. But I don't have any, or I have the driver side door glass, I think. But um, it has like a really bad scratch in it. It didn't break, it just like, like a four inch long deep scratch. So to replace both sides, um, I think it's going to be like 120 bucks uh, a piece or something like that. 
and I'm not gonna really drive the car um, when it's cold and nasty and stuff out so I don't really know if I if I'm gonna need them maybe we can put like some little Lexan sheets or something I don't know so that's what I'm just kind of unsure of what I you know what I'm gonna do but I kind of I don't really want to glue the glass in just yet I'm probably going to because like I said I want to actually enjoy this car when the weather's nice so this coming together I think in the next couple of um, the next couple of episodes we should have this thing 100% together and you know, on the ground and a functioning driving car which it pretty much already is but yeah got the brakes figured out so I gotta get a brake mash cylinder get another drive shaft still um, just finished button everything up and uh, as far as the rotor car like I said we got the engine ready I just got to find the time pull this engine out um, throw all the stuff on the other uh, the, uh, on the other engine and um, yeah just go from there but um, kind of in the air like up in the like kind of hinting or messing around with the idea or whatever of selling all the 13b stuff and trying to get a 20b <laughs> which sounds pretty good but we might give it a shot I might take some pictures of the rotary of the 13b stuff and uh see if i can sell it to somebody for a decent chunk so if i could if i could like just get my money back out of it i'll probably do it so if i get my money back out of it you know if i gotta add you know just a little bit extra money and get a 20b i think it'd be worth it so all right i guess that's gonna be it for now i'm gonna work on this thing for a little bit and try to get the fenders lined up and get the front bumper on and put the little the covers on the pop-ups and all that stuff but you'll see that on the next episode so make sure you subscribe like share all that nonsense and uh we'll see you on the next one